What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to remove or recover your zip file password. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Forgetting the password to a zip file can be a major inconvenience, especially if the file contains important information. But with the right tools, you can retrieve or bypass the password without too much trouble. The first step is to download PassFab for zip. I drop a link in the video description for easy access. Visit the PassFab for zip webpage, look for the download option and start the download. After downloading the software, follow the on-screen instructions to install it to your computer. Open PassFab for zip once it's installed. You'll be greeted with an intuitive interface that's easy to navigate. Click on the Add button to upload the zip file that you're unable to access. The software offers different recovery methods like dictionary attacks, brute force with mask attack and brute force attack. Each method has its own use case, so choose the one that aligns with your situation. If you have any strong guesses about your password, you can customize the recovery process. Use the settings option to set parameters like the password's possible length, character sets and any prefixes or suffixes you might have used. Adjusting these settings can speed up the recovery process significantly. Once you're all set, hit the Start button. The duration of the recovery process can vary, depending on how complex the password is. Once the software cracks the password, it will display it on the screen. Keep in mind, this feature is available with the registered version of the software. With the password in hand, you can now easily open your zip file to access its contents. Remember to use such tools responsibly and legally. Ensure that you have the right to access the zip file you are trying to unlock. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.